Good morning, everybody. Well, I say good morning because it's uh, morning here, but if, where you are, good afternoon, and then good afternoon. Okay, let's uh, move on. So I've got a, a request. I'm doing a little request video. It's a very simple one. It's from a YouTuber called My Bloody Sabbath. Hmm, interesting name. Now, he's asking for the twin effect, and I'm assuming he means the cloning effect. So I have a little clip prepared. Uh, yeah, so here they are. I'm just going to go back to the beginning and play it. There you go. I'll tell you what, this actor here is a much better actor than this idiot. Yeah, yeah, go on poking. Uh, change your mind, didn't it? Alright, so that's it. We're going to do the clone effect. So basically creating yourself twice and becoming two characters. Okay. So most of your time will be spent creating your footage. The editing is done very quickly. So once you have your footage prepared, now my advice would be to create uh, all your footage at the same time. That way your lighting remains consistent. Okay? So drag your first clip into your timeline. I'm just going to uh, split the audio because we don't need that. I really should prepare these because better. I'm going to drag my overlay clip. The first clip, uh, you're done with it. You don't need to do anything with that one anymore. And then you just work with your second clip. First thing you need to do is apply a filter, and that's the cropping filter. Click and drag, release, double clip, and there it is. Now, um, you can do two things. I just go in here and go to height 100%, but you don't need to do that. You can also just go into customs filter because you need to change the width anyway. So change the width to 50%. Because you want your footage only to be 50% of the screen, because guess what? The other one is the other 50. Duh. Alright, so go uh, on your cross here, your cursor will turn into a finger. Click and drag it all the way to the right. Uh, and then I'm just going to click on my keyframe, copy and paste it all right. So I'm basically telling the last keyframe. To have the same commands as the first keyframe, which is height and width. So it's not going to change as it travels along my timeline. So here you go, you've got this black is where the other footage will appear, and this is your footage that you are currently working with. Press OK. Now, right click, fit to screen. All you need to do now is to remove this black box. Now, uh, while I'm here, uh, it is important to note that. Make sure that this character never works outside of his 50%. So if you now decide that you want to pass something to the other one, you can't because as soon as you extend the arm past this point, there is no more footage. If everything past that point will disappear. I'm sure you would already know this, but I'm just pointing this out. Just, you know. You just never know, there might be one guy going, ah, I don't get it, my hand keeps disappearing. Alright, sorry, I'm rambling. So, to get rid of this black box, we need to mask it out. So, we're going to go apply overlay, and because we're trying to get rid of black, make sure black is highlighted. We're still not there quite because our color adjustment's at 70, and we need it down to 0, which will bring it back to 100%. There you go. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And then you're done. Now we'll go back to these uh, two uh, actors. So there you go. Uh, my Bloody Sabbath. And anybody else that's watching, thanks for watching.